Hi, this is Jen Lasser with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to talk you through some improvements that we made to our segment drop zone at the top of our panels. Segment drop zones are areas that you can add in things like segments, dimension items, or date ranges to quickly segment down a panel to certain data points. So the first change we've made is we've updated the drop zone itself to be a bit more descriptive. We've put emphasis on the word segment because that is typically the component that is dropped in this area, but you can also drop other component types as well. In the past, there's been a limitation where you haven't been able to drop a full dimension like page or an event like orders in this area, but with the release um, on October 26, we're now allowing you to drop anything into this segment drop zone, including full dimensions and events. So for example, if you wanted to segment the, the panel here by um, only um, hits that where an order had happened, you can drop orders into the se segment drop zone and we'll convert that to a orders exists segment. So just you can quickly sneak the segment here, hits where orders exist. Notice that everything in the panel is now segmented down to just those hits that tie to orders. Additionally, you can drop a full dimension now as well by simply dragging over tracking code as an example and dropping it here. This is a great way to segment for all hits that came from a campaign, for example, something that came to your website or your app with a tracking code. Similar to events, we're going to convert this to a hit where this um, EVAR dimension or prop exists and segment down the panel accordingly. So another improvement we've made is around the handling of things like unspecified and none. So today you can dive into a dimension and drop over specific dimension items like this particular tracking code. That's functionality that ex already exists. But when you try to drop unspecified today, it doesn't create the correct segment for you. And this is something that we've improved. So if you drop unspecified or none into the segment drop zone, we'll now create a a uh, hit segment where that tracking code or that dimension does not exist. And this should um, get the segment to be evaluated uh, more properly than it has in the past. So hope you guys enjoy these new improvements to the segment drop zone.